Hey guys, it's Kristen. I am sister number two from Six Sister Stuff. And today I'm sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to pack your kids for going on vacation, especially going on the airplane. Now I have traveled with my kids a lot. And so I feel like I kind of have it down to a system of how I get things ready for traveling. So the first thing I do is lay out all of their clothes and go in, in order. So I have my baby first and all of her clothes. And then I have my five-year-old and all of her clothes. I mean, we're, we're talking shirts, pants, pajamas, underwear, uh, socks. We are going to a wedding, so we have dresses and we have dress shoes. And I do it this way because I can do exact outfits. So we're gonna look at my seven-year-old. So we're gonna be going for six days and I'm only packing four outfits. So I do it this way because I usually have access to a washer and dryer whether I'm in a hotel or we usually do vacations when we're traveling to a family member's house. So that's why I'm only packing four outfits. Then we have enough panties to get us through the whole trip just in case I don't have access to a washer and dryer, shoes, and then of course two pairs of pajamas. Now the purpose is not to overpack. That's one of the things that I think a lot of people struggle with. They feel like each kid needs their own suitcase and they completely overpack and they don't even use half the clothes that they're going to use on vacation. We head out tomorrow, so as you can see in my room, yeah, it's, it's lovely, it's a disaster. But I'm gonna show you my trick. So I'm gonna roll up the clothes in outfits. So I'm gonna add a sock, shirts, pants, roll it up and put a little elastic around it because then when it's time to get dressed, all I have to do is grab an outfit for a kid and they're set. Oh, and of course underwear, don't forget that. <laughs> so this is my baby, her outfits are really tiny, so it makes it really easy for me. So I'll just show you what I do. All right, first I grab a little elastic. Yes, those elastics that you buy at the grocery store, the hair accessory aisle, just those little tiny elastics. And then I'm gonna grab an outfit. So I have her shirt, her pants, put those together, and then a little pair of socks. So put my socks in the middle, because she's not potty trained, I'd usually put underwear in there too. I'm not gonna throw a diaper in there. I'll pack those all together. But uh, just the socks and the pants and the shirt. Okay, and then if you can see this, then I just roll it up in a teeny tiny ball. There we go. Best you can. Doesn't have to be pretty. There we go. One up, put down. Now I just have to do a few more. There you go. You can see it. Okay, so after I do the clothes, now I'm gonna do the pajamas just to get them as tight as I can and as little as I can so I can fit more in the suitcase. And with her, I only packed two pairs of pajamas because I will have a washer and dryer there. Um, usually I would pack a little bit thinner pajamas so they're smaller, also a little bit thinner clothes, but because we're going to Utah and we're from Texas, it is freezing there, so. That's why. Now I'm not gonna roll up the dress because I want it to be as non-wrinkly as possible because I mean ironing that many dresses are not gonna be fun. So these are actually, all the dresses are actually gonna be laying on top of all the clothes. So if you can see, my baby is done and that's literally how much space she's gonna take. The other tip too, so if you don't wanna roll up your socks in there, I just shove my shoes full of socks and kind of put them in the pile with everyone. So these are her church shoes. I shoved her tights in there and she has a little diaper cover. I'm gonna shove that into the other one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna roll all the rest of the clothes up. And this is also a perfect thing for your kids to do and help with. Just make sure they roll them really, really tight. All right, they are rolled and still organized by kids. Now they're ready to go in one big suitcase. So I used to put everything in these little plastic bags until my kids started getting a little bit older. So I can put this, I can put my baby stuff in here, but um, not quite anymore. So each kid gets their own individual bag. It's cheap and it works and it keeps it organized. So I'll show you how I do it. Here we go. All right, so we have some extra room, so I'm going to shove the extras full of diapers so I can do that instead of putting them all into my diaper bag. So I'll have more room in my diaper bag 
for other things. So I let each of my children bring their own backpack full of toys, things to do on the airplane, and snacks. The only thing is is that they are in charge of their own backpack and they need to carry it. Now sometimes you just need a few things that are new in the backpack to help them make through the flight. So I went to Target today and they had these cutest little finger puppets. They were in the dollar section so this was only three dollars. They also have these Shopkin 8 packs. Now they're supposed to be Valentine's but they actually work perfect for the airplane. So they each came with two little markers and they came obviously in a set of eight. So we had four on the way there, four on the way home. They worked perfect. The other thing I love to get for airplane rides are these Imagine Ink notebooks is because you don't have to have a hundred markers. You just have one marker. They can color it the whole time. It works perfect for all ages. And the last thing I did was check out their clearance toy section. They always have little toys on sale here and there but these cute little palace pets were only $3, so I grabbed a few of them for the airplane ride and then also a few for birthday presents coming up, so they work perfect. All right, now I just need to put these in the bags, have the girls also pack books and snacks, and we should be good to go. Because we're going on such an early flight, we're not gonna pack a lot of snacks because I don't want them to be sick in the morning. So our flight's at six, we get into Utah around eight, so we're probably just gonna pack bagels and some little apple sauces. More snacks for the baby, obviously, because she's a little busy, but the rest, I'm not packing a lot. All right, here are my totals. For a family of six, I have two suitcases, three backpacks, and one diaper bag. That is all. If you can pack just small enough, you can be able to make your trip so much easier without carrying a ton of luggage as you travel. Now, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can check out everything that we're posting onto YouTube. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on Tip Tuesday. We'll see you next time.